Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on solving quadratics of the form x squared plus bx plus c equals zero, solvable by factorization. So we want to solve these two equations here. Now a mistake I often see students make is that they attempt to solve this by moving the six to the other side. So they subtract six from both sides, so they say x squared minus 5x equals minus six, and then they sort of try and factorize the x out, so they say x brackets x minus five, equals minus six, and they get stuck, they don't know what to do. But that's not the method you want to use. The method you want to use is this. You firstly get zero on one side. Now in these examples here, we do have zero on one side. The second step is factorize the quadratic, and we saw how to do that in another video. And the last step is to make each factor zero, and I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. So, let's do that for this first one. We've got x squared minus five x plus six equals zero. Now we've already got zero on one side, so we now need to factorize this left-hand side. Now, do you remember the method for factorizing a quadratic? We need two numbers which add to give the minus five and multiply to give the six. What are those two numbers? Well, what numbers multiply to give six? Well, it could be six and one. What about uh, three and two? Well, notice that if they multiply to give positive six, they either have to be both positive, which they can't be because they wouldn't add to minus five, or both be negative. Now, if we had minus three and minus two, minus three and minus two add to give minus five, and they multiply to give positive six, because negative three times negative two, negative times negative is positive. So, that means we factorize it into x minus a three and x minus a two. So we use those two numbers we found that add to give minus five and times give six as the two numbers here, with x before each one. That's equal to zero. Then the final step is to make each factor zero. And the reason we do that is because, well, if I just told you that two numbers multiply to give zero, what would you know about one of the numbers? Well, we know that if two numbers multiply to give zero, at least one of them would have to be zero. So it could be, for example, four times zero, that would give you zero. One of these or both of them have to be zero. So we've got two things multiplied together to give zero. So if it was the x minus three that was zero, what minus three is zero? Well, it's three, so x is three. Or if the x minus two was zero, what minus two is zero? Well, it's x is equal to two. And the quick way to do it is to just negate whatever that number is here. So if it's minus three, you negate it, you make it positive, so that becomes plus three. If it's minus two, you negate it, it becomes plus two. And we can check whether these solutions work. If we take the three and substitute it into the equation, uh, we would get three squared minus five times three, plus the six, and that's nine minus 15 plus six, and that indeed does give us zero, because that's minus six plus six is zero. So that does work. It would similarly work if we substituted them the two. What about this next one? Again, get zero on one side, we've done that. Factorize a quadratic. So we need two numbers that add to give the plus one, because it's plus one x, there's a kind of ghostly one there, and they times to give that last number there, so the minus six. Now what numbers multiply to give six? Well, it could be three and two, but one of them's gotta be negative, so they times give a negative number. So it's gonna be three and minus two, isn't it? Because three and minus two, they add to give one, they times to give minus six. We explore this in another video anyway. So this factorizes to x plus three and x minus two equals zero. And again, the last step, we make each factor zero. So if it was the x plus three that was equal to zero, if we do it the full way, we could say, well, this thing, x plus three is equal to zero. And what plus three is equal to zero? Well, minus three plus three is equal to zero. We could subtract three from both sides. So we have x is minus three. And remember the quick way I said is whatever this number is and you negate it. So positive becomes negative, we get minus three as the solution. And this one here, if we negate it, negate minus two, it becomes positive two. So the other solution is x is two. And those are our solutions.